Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please go down and click subscribe. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. Like I said, I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So what we're going to talk about in this video is ever since I released the last video that talked about how we can get you special pricing on Synology surveillance station licenses, our email has been blowing up and we appreciate each and every one of you. We're turning those quotes around. We're turning those into orders. People are, are satisfied. People are happy. People want to know more about the differences between Unify Protect and Synology Surveillance Station. So what I've done is I've made a little bit of a spreadsheet and we are going to go over that here in just a minute. And it talks about some of the what we see as the key features. If you see any features missing that we didn't talk about um, or you want to talk about any of the features that we do show, please make sure you leave those in the comments. Also, we will be doing several side by side comparisons of the products and we're going to try to make these unbiased as possible. We're going to show you each of the products in full and and there should be no bias going on. It's going to show you what each product can actually do. So let's hop on over to the spreadsheet and we will take a look at this. Uh, the differences, once again, the differences between Unify Protect and Synology Surveillance Station. All right, so here is our spreadsheet. And what I did was, I think I've got about uh, 37, maybe uh, 38 things that we're going to compare against. And once again, you can also put more things down in the comments and we'll talk about those as well. So over here we have our feature, or our metric. Here's Unify Protect and here's Surveillance Station. So let's start with scalability. Unify Protect right now, Caps out at about 40 cameras, and that's with the UNVR. Uh, surveillance station, you can build out a system where a single install can support 5,000 plus cameras. So you can see that surveillance station gets the, uh, the win here uh, because it scales well into the thousands of cameras. Our next uh, feature or metric is OnVIF support. Unify Protect does not support OnVIF. Surveillance Station does. And you know what? Maybe we should be painting these as wins. Let's see. Yellow there. Yellow there. Okay, supported camera models. Unify Protect supports the eight uh, G3, G4 cameras that are currently available for purchase plus any G2 cameras. They do not support the old Air Vision cameras. So that's uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of probably about 12 cameras off the top of my head, maybe 11 cameras. Uh, surveillance Station supports 7,600 plus cameras. Plus, you could throw, while Unify cameras are not specifically supported, you can grab an RTSP stream, so you could even grab these cameras and lump them into this. Okay, so local storage, and what I mean by that is our video is kept on our servers on-prem. Unify Protect, yes. Surveillance Station, yes. Uh, is there a cloud relay available? So do you have to do port forwarding into your network to make a connection to the software? And Unify Protect has that cloud relay available. Surveillance Station also has the cloud relay available. Does Unify Protect have 10 gig networking? Yes, it does. Does Surveillance Station support 10 gig? Yes, it does. Can you do 40 gig networking with Unify Protect? No, you cannot. With Surveillance Station, there are certain models of Synology units where you can slide that, that 40 gig card in, uh, and we will take a look at that. Unify Protect, is there a license fee? No, there is not. Surveillance Station, yes, there is, but it is a one-time purchase and it is transferable, so you only ever pay for the license once and you can transfer it from Synology to Synology. So 
I consider this a win considering all of the options and all of the awesome things that surveillance station allows us to do. So I'm going to highlight that. You can criticize me for that down in the comments. Unify Protect, does it have phone support? No, it does not. Does uh, Synology and Surveillance Station have phone support? Yes, they do. The age of the product. So Unify Protect is about two years old, replaced Unify Video. Surveillance Station has been in continuous development for 10 plus years. Does Unify Protect have a way to authenticate that the footage that you are watching has not been tampered with? No, it does not. Does Surveillance Station have a mechanism to authenticate the footage? Yes, it does. Does Unify Protect have a standalone hardware viewer? Yes, it does. Does Surveillance Station have a standalone hardware viewer? In fact, yes, they do. They actually have two. So they have an NVR that has HDMI out and they have a standalone hardware appliance to be a viewer. Is there a standalone viewer software available for PC, Linux, Mac? Unify Protect? No. If I'm wrong on that, please correct me. Surveillance Station? Yes. Standalone viewer software on a smartphone? Unify Protect? Yes. Surveillance Station? Yes. Now, this one right here, I'm going to admit this is kind of, uh, this is kind kind of questionable, kind of up in the air. I'm not going to highlight really either of these here, but somebody mentioned that for Protect to work properly, you have to have internet. So I put a yes there. I'm going to have to go back when we do our side-by-sides. We will vet this one here. Uh, surveillance station is definitely no. So I'm, I, I put that in there when I was doing some reading through the forum, uh, but I'm not going to score that one. Right now, the current NVR models available for Unify Protect are two. And uh, this was actually supposed to be 50 plus on the Synology because uh, any most Synologies, save the UC3200, can actually be turned into an NVR. So Surveillance Station has a much, much, much more in-depth hardware uh, selection. Neither of them can be run on your own software, but given the choices that you have with Synology, why would you want to put it on your own hardware when we get down to the warranty section? Unify Protect granular um, user customizable permissions. No. Surveillance Station? Yes. Does Unify Protect work with building automation? No, it does not. Surveillance Station does. Does Unify Protect work with IP audio or network audio? No, it does not. Surveillance Station does. Does Unify Protect work with voice over IP? No, it does not. Surveillance Station does. Can you get pop-up alerts, uh, customizable pop-up alerts in a web browser, uh, things like that with Unify Protect? As far as I... Uh, understand no you cannot this could be wrong if I am wrong on this please let me know you can do that with surveillance station can you do beep alerts I've not seen anything with beep alerts sound alerts with protect you can do that with surveillance station can you do e-map alerts now you used to be able to do map alerts in video and I haven't tried to lay out any maps in protect and I haven't really seen any good information on that. If you can actually do like e-map alerting where you're actually alerted on the map. Um, so I haven't seen that. Once again, if I am wrong on that, please let me know. I know for sure we can do that on surveillance station. Download a specific time frame of footage. If protect is anything like video, you would be able to do that. Put a yes there. And with Synology, yes, you can definitely do that. Let's give this a capital Y. I don't want people to think that I'm uh, treating treating Protect any different. This is going to be, this is unbiased as it can be. And you're going to, like I said, you're going to see the side-by-sides. And um, 
Oh, we've got that years in development. Two plus for the Protect, 10 plus on Synology. High availability. Can you do a high availability setup for your NVR? With Protect, no, you cannot. With Synology, yes, you can. Can you do geofencing? As far as I know, geofencing and alerts based on geofencing is not available with Protect, and it is with Synology. Will Unify, or uh, sorry, yeah, Unify Protect integrate with Point of Sale? No. Surveillance Station, yes. Does Unify Protect integrate with input output systems such as doors, fire alarms, etc.? No, it does not. Synology Surveillance Station, yes, it does. Can you use your cell phone as a security camera? Unify Protect, no. Surveillance Station, yes. Custom SSL certificates, not supported with Unify Protect. They tell you to use their um, you know, online system, the, the protect.ui.com. With Surveillance Station, we can still install our custom SSL certificate. Can cameras be managed by multiple NVRs? The answer here is no with Protect, as far as I know. And uh, with Synology, you could say yes. Now, some of this other stuff, uh, Synology does have a deep learning NVR that's powered by uh, NVIDIA GPUs. Unify has nothing like that right now. So with the new one, you can actually do facial recognition with Synology. You can do people detection, so it actually knows that it is people. And I've seen some hacky stuff thrown together with this, but I don't think it's anything like official. We can detect vehicles. We can do people counting, and we can do intrusion detection. So let's talk about the warranty on that hardware. With Unify Protect, you get one year, and with the Synology products, you get a three-year up to a five year and depending on the model, you get a next business day replacement. So I'm sure there are metrics that I left off this. We are gonna get more into this in the side-by-side -side video uh, that is coming up. So take it, you know, make sure you're subscribed and you've got that little bell notification icon so when I drop that video, you'll know. But this is just probably skimming the surface. So we're gonna get into some of these, these other things. Uh, and get into looking at these side by side. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you need or want that special uh, pricing on Synology licensing or Synology hardware, uh, we do have some special deals that you can get locked into for that. So make sure you reach out about that. If you'd like to support the channel, you know, using our affiliate links, those are down below. They don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel. Don't feel obligated to use those, but it is always appreciated as it does kick a couple bucks over here. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will be in touch as soon as possible. Once again, I want to thank you all for being here. If you need the uh, Synology surveillance station, surveillance station special pricing, Make sure you reach out. Um, as always, I'm Willie, and I'll see you in the next video.